Welcome back to the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton and Canada, leading Team Sweden by a score of 5-1. to one. After the first period of play, the second game of a best of three Canada Cup final. And with us now, Wayne Gretzky, who uh, scored one of those five goals in the period. Uh, Wayne, Team Canada, very serious. It's obvious you want to wrap it up in this one. Well, we've had a, uh, a long summer, believe me. Uh, all the players have worked very hard, and, and uh, we won the first game. We didn't play uh, a really spectacular game, but we played well enough to win, and we did a good job. We wanted to come out flying in the first period, and uh, we knew they were a little down, and to get a couple goals up and, and uh, get us going, and that's exactly what we did. Wayne, what about the feeling now on the team? You've got players from about nine National Hockey League teams. Uh, obviously, uh, friendships develop over the course of a season, but not as close as really this team has been. Well, this has been a, a tremendous experience. Uh, I think the fact that uh, a lot of people counted this hockey team out, uh, you know, you, you get a lot of people that back the club, but there's a, a select few that uh, figured that we had no chance at all of beating the Soviets. And we looked around the dressing room, and, you know, we got 13 guys in the dressing room that uh, have been with Stanley Cup champions. And, and, you know, we put together a team of a lot of winners, and, and we didn't count ourselves out. Uh, you know, people talked about the Soviets and how great they were. And they are a great hockey team, and, and uh, we beat them on pride and, and uh, just hard work and a lot of guts. What about the game against the uh, Soviets now, Wayne? It, uh, hockey fans are still talking about it. Uh, it had to be uh, perhaps one of the big highlights of your career. Well, it was. I think that, uh, you know, it's nice to finally beat them. I've been on a lot of losing, uh, losing teams against them. But uh, I grew up in life that, uh, you know, you can't have everything going your way all the time. And sometimes uh, you learn from your mistakes. And I lost a couple times to them. And, and this time we went full head against them. And uh, we played a tremendous hockey game. And, you know, there's no question we deserve to win the hockey game. We played outstanding. And, and like you said, uh, people are talking about it. And, and uh, I'm glad I was part of it. Wayne, we have an interview here that our uh, production staff has put together. It was John McGilvery, the radio broadcaster, interviewed you, and it was reflecting back on uh, your years as a junior and what you would want to do as a professional hockey player. So we're going to uh, go to that right now. The question is, when you felt you might be a pro, and uh, let's pick up that interview. The time that I really believed that I had an opportunity to be a professional athlete was when I was... 16 and I played in the World Junior Tournament uh, against uh, the Soviets and the Czechs and etc. And I was 16 and playing with the 19, 20 year old team and we had guys like uh, Ryan Walter and Wayne Babbage and Craig Hartsburg and so on. And uh, uh, I made the all-star team in that tournament and led the tournament in scoring. And uh, when I did well against those guys, that's when I believed that, that uh, I could be a professional athlete if I worked at it. And speaking of 16 years of age, I have a little something here that you may or may not remember, but just see if you recognize this voice. Sir, at age 16, it's uh, pretty young to get a lot of publicity like I have been, but uh, it's been uh, six, seven years now, and I've been getting used to it. I, I had a lot of publicity when I was eight, nine, and 10, and uh, I've been just taking this stride, and uh, I've been enjoying myself up to St. Marie and having a good time. Wayne's shoulders aren't the biggest we've seen on hockey players at his age, but like he said, he's had lots of practice handling the inquisitive press, who've been hounding him since he was a peewee. This is his first year in the OHA, and yet it was not his first time playing at Maple Leaf Gardens. I played here once before when uh, the first year of the Marlies played in Brantford. Uh, they had a sort of a Brantford day down here, and we played before a Marley game. But uh, that was the first time playing. This would be my second time playing in the Gardens. The future does look very bright for Wayne Gretzky. If you had a choice, if you were to uh, say next year, go to the NHL, hypothetically, what team would you like to play for? That's a hard question. I guess. Toronto Maple Leafs or Buffalo. Uh, I've always liked those two teams. Of course, in my hometown, you know. And, uh, I don't know. I'd have to say Somebody's that. Somebody's faking my voice. Most hockey players, <laughs> even those in the NHL, would have a great amount of it. Okay, Wayne, there you are, uh, back in your outstanding junior career. Does that bring back some fond memories? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, as I said, uh, I, I was fortunate enough to play against the European.